In this video, we are going to see what are the different operations that we can perform on a set. So the first operation that we will see is intersection. And here it means we have to find the elements that are common to sets. And we denote it with this symbol. So here A intersection B means all the elements X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. So it should belong to both the sets A and B. For example, if we have A is 2, 3, 4 and 5, B is 4, 3, 7 and 8, then we see that 3 and 4 are common to both. So the intersection of A and B is 3 and 4 because there is no other element that is common to both. And in Venn diagram, we can represent it this way. So set A and B. So 3 and 4 are common here. And 2 and 5. And similarly here, 7 and 8. So in general, intersection will denote this part, this common part. The second operation is union and its symbol is just opposite of intersection. So intersection was this one, but here it's opposite of that. And it means elements which are present in either A or B. So if it's present in A or B, then we will include that in the union. So here are the same sets, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4, 3, 7, 8. So we will include 2. So 2 is not included. So we will start with an empty set and start iterating the first set. So first let's insert all the elements of the first set. Now start iterating the second set. So we will see that first element is 4, but 4 we have already inserted. Then 3, 3 also we have already included. 7, 7 we have not included in this union. So we will add 7. Next is 8, 8 also we have not included. So we will add 8. Now we have iterated both the sets and we have iterated through all the elements. So this union will be just a set of all the elements which are present either in A or B. So if in terms of Venn diagram, this uh, A union B will be everything, this part, this part and even this part. Whereas in intersection, we had just this common part. Now the third operation is difference. So it is denoted by minus sign A minus B. So all the elements which are present in A but not in B. So here A is 2, 3, 4, 5, B is 4, 3, 7, 8. So what are the elements that are only present in A but not in B? So in Venn diagram, this is set A and this is B. So A minus B will be this part. So this is A minus B. Because this part is common to both. This part is present in B and this part is only present in A but not B. Similarly, this part this part is B minus A because th this region is present only in B and not in A. And here you can see the example. So 2, 3, 2 and 5 are present in A but not in B whereas 3 and 4 are present in B also. So A minus B is this and B minus A is this one. Now then we have a concept of universal set. So it's the set of all elements under consideration. So everything that is relevant to the problem that we are trying to solve. So every problem will have different sets of elements. So if we include all the possible elements that can be present in different sets under the given uh, problem consideration, then we call that set as the universal set. And all the other sets are subsets of this universal set. So in Venn diagram, we draw this universal set with a big rectangle and there will be multiple sets present in inside these. So set A, B, C, D, some of them may be uh, overlapping, some may be disjoint, but everything will be under universal set only. So these are all subsets of universal set, every other set. Now we have a complement. So complement means just opposite. So if X is an element that belongs to A, then all the elements 
which do not belong to A will be the complement of A. So, for example, we have universal set this and any set will be inside this universal set only. So, first draw A. So, A is 1, 2 and 5. But we see that 1, 2, 5 we have added. But we have some more elements remaining in the universal set like 3, 4, 6 and 7. But these are not inside A because A has just 1, 2 and 5. So this complement of A will be the elements outside A. So this is A. So the complete region outside this A will be A complement. So this region is A. So better write it inside this. So this region is A. And the outer region is A complement. Everything outside this. Now let's see the fundamental laws of set algebra. We will see mainly five such laws. So first is commutative, then associative, distributive, and finally identity and complement laws. So I have purposefully written these two separately and these three separately because these three laws will be dependent on mainly union and intersection operations, whereas these two will depend mainly on the null set and universal set. So this U is not the union, this is universal set and this is, these are union and intersection operations. So let's see all of these one by one. So first is commutative law. It states that A union B is same as B union A. That is order of this union operation does not matter. Similarly for intersection. So pictorially if we see this is A, this is B and this common region we called a intersection B. So it doesn't matter whether we uh, first draw B and then A, the common region will remain the same. The region that is common to both A and B, it will be independent of whether we draw B on this side or this side or which uh, set we write first. Ultimately this expression will evaluate to some set which will include the elements which are common to A and B. So it, the order does not matter. Similarly, union. Union will be this complete region. So again, order is not important. So this is called commutative law. The next is associative law. So we have three sets now. And again, first here the braces, the parenthesis means that we first calculate A union B. And then whatever set we got, we will find the union with respect to C. So it's same as first calculating B union C and then taking the union of these two because these are three sets then the union of A, B and C will be this complete region. So all the elements present in A, B or C. So the order does not matter whether first we find uh, these two B and C and then add A or first we perform A and C and then add B. So the order is not important. Similarly for intersection. The next is distributive law. So here the operations are different. First we have union and inside the parenthesis we have intersection. So this distributes these two things. So so A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. So we have A, B and C. So B intersection C, this will be calculated first because it's inside the braces. So B intersection C is this part and then we take its union with A. So now A will include this complete region. Now let's do this on the right hand side. 
again A, B and C. So first calculate A union B. So A union B is this region then A union C is this region and the common to both of these is this uh, this uh, yellow region was here this complete A was there so this will be here and then this is also common to both so we ultimately get this same thing so you can uh, try out some examples and see that uh, it works and this operation distributes these two inside this parenthesis similarly A intersection B union C is A intersection B and A intersection C and then union of these two so this is uh, important to keep it in memory because we will use this in solving the multiple problems now the last two are uh, using the null and uni universal sets so a union null set is same as a because a is some set and this null is nothing but an empty set so union means we include all the elements present in both the sets but this empty set does not contribute anything new so it will not add any new element to the uh, existing union so it's same as A similarly A intersection U so this is the universal set and we have inside universal set we have A so intersection means common to both so this A part is common to both because it's present in A also and since A is inside U, so it's present in U also. So their intersection is A. Now the last one is complement law. So we saw that complement is all the region outside any particular set. So if this is U and inside that we have A, so this is A and outside we have A complement. So if we take union of these two, we will include everything because union means either present in A or B or both. So here A we have taken this region and A complement is all the region outside that. So it will span the entire universal set. So A union A complement is U. Similarly, there is no region that is common to A and A complement because A is this region and A complement is this region outside A, strictly outside, not including A. So there is no element common to both. So their intersection is this null set or empty set. So these were the main operations and the main laws governing the set algebra. Thanks for watching it and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos.